Welcome back everyone, we share a you. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I am so excited. Come on, let's get up and worship the Lord.
Hello kids, brother Corey here. I hope you're all doing great today. Wasn't that a beautiful worship song? Did you enjoy it? I did. Worship is great because it's a time that we can be in the presence of God. Show Him how much we love Him, how much we appreciate Him, and how much we respect Him. And that's what we're going to talk about today, showing respect for God. Today's Bible lesson comes from Matthew chapter 21, verses 12 to 15. This story takes place in the temple, which is like a big church building. It was supposed to be a very special place. One of the things that the people did inside the temple was sacrifice animals so God would forgive their sins. Thankfully, we don't have to do that anymore because Jesus died on the cross for us. Let's give Jesus a clap of thanksgiving for that. Thank you, Jesus. Since there was only one temple, sometimes people would travel a far distance to get there. They didn't have animals with them to offer as a sacrifice, so they would buy it when they got there. And that was fine. But then people started to sell animals inside the temple. It was disrespectful to God, and it was distracting to those that were worshiping. There's a right time and place for everything, but at the temple, that wasn't it. It's important to treat God with respect. I know a lot of you like Legos. I have my daughter's Lego set here. It's like 600 pieces. It's special to her because it took her a lot of time and effort to build it. Now imagine I asked my wife, let's play catch. And I started throwing it around the room. How do you think my daughter would react to that? She would probably flip out. You don't want someone to disrespect something that's very important to you. Some ways that we can be disrespectful to God is by climbing all over the chairs in the sanctuary, playing video games during church service, or how about jumping off the platform like we're James Bond? Or how about talking during the service while the teacher is sharing the word of God. When Jesus saw people disrespecting God by selling animals in the temple, he got mad. Jesus flipped out. He started knocking over tables and chairs, but he wasn't doing it for fun. He was standing up for what was right. He was trying to make sure that God was the main focus in the temple. The leaders of the temple were mad when Jesus was knocking over the tables and chairs. But not everybody was mad at Jesus. The children and people with disabilities knew how wonderful Jesus is. Even though the, the leaders were mad, the children stood up for Jesus by praising Him. And Jesus even healed those with disabilities right there. Now, I'm not telling you to go around and flipping tables and chairs whenever somebody does something wrong to you that you don't like. That's not the point of the story. The point is, when people disrespect God, that should bother us. We see the heart of Jesus in this story when we see how important it is to Him to respect God. Jesus stood up for what was right, and we can stand up for what is right too and show our respect for God. I hope you all enjoyed this lesson today. I love you. I miss you all. Catch you later. Bye-bye. Good morning, everybody, and thank you, Brother Corey, for that great message. Now let's get started with our craft for today. The items you will need are four straws, a small brown lunch bag, glue, scissors, tape, color pencils, markers, or crayons, your choice, and your coloring sheet. But if you get stuck, ask your parents for some help. First, we are going to color our sheet and cut out our figures. As you can see, I have already done mine. The next step is to get your straw and put a piece of tape on the top and stick it to the back of the figure. 
And then you'll do the same for the rest. Like I did with these. Ta-da! Now, get your bag and cut out a big circle in the middle of it, just like this. And the opening of the bag should face downward. Now get your fire piece and, and glue it to the bottom of the circle. over and get two more fire pieces and glue it to the base. Last, get your four figures and put them through the hole. One hand holds the, the bag and the other holds your public figures. So you have Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And last, you have God. And God was there to save them. Just like how Jesus stood for what was right inside the temple, the three Hebrew boys stood for what was right also. Instead of bowing down to a false god, they stood to what they know is true, and that is not to worship any other gods. When you stand for God and do what is right, God will stand by you. Silly Games with Corey, the part of the service where Corey plays a silly game. Good morning, everyone. We have another exciting game of head-to-head -head action for you. Joining us today is the Toronto family, and they will be playing against the Murray family. Our game is called Stuffin' Man. These kids will have one minute to see how many balloons they could stuff inside their dad's shirt. Are you ready for some fun? Let's see how they do and feel free to cheer for them at home. I don't know guys, what do you think? This shirt feels a little, looks a little tight, right? It is, it is very tight. tight. Really? Oh yeah, that feels much better. Stuff me. Looks like these dads are really working on their summer dad bods. I don't know if you were all counting at home, but let's see how they did. With a score of 22 to 20, the Toronto family are the winners. Congratulations, you guys. And as a prize to all of our contestants, y'all get to keep those balloons at home. I hope everyone enjoyed this game today. Go ahead and try it at home. Stuff your dad with some balloons and Give him the body he's always wanted. 
See you all later. Bye bye.